Hi, it's me, Martin, and this is the brand new Honor Magic Watch 2. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because it's basically a rebranded Huawei Watch GT2. So what are the differences? Let's find out. This rebranding isn't something completely unexpected since we saw very similar launch patterns in the last couple of months, and that includes smartphones as well. The story is similar here with the Honor Magic Watch 2, mimicking almost everything of the Huawei Watch GT2. So you might wonder, what are the differences? Oh, before we continue, if you would like to win the Honor Smart Skill or the Honor Band 4, I will be giving them away. Just list in the comments down below what is your favorite feature of the brand new Honor Magic Watch 2 before the 1st of January because that's the day that I will reply to one of the winners comment. So to continue with the features, there are two versions to pick from. There's either a 46 or 42 mm version. The larger has a more masculine look with a more classical smartwatch design, while the other one has more of a sporty look. They both have an AMOLED panel with the same resolution, but the Huawei version has a slightly brighter display at 1000 nits compared to 800 nits on the Magic Watch 2 from Honor. Now, Like the original device, you will get a virtual pace setter for runs, waterproofing up to 5ADM for swimming, GPS for location tracking and VO2 max estimations. This is all backed by a few wellness features found on the Watch GT2 from Huawei as well. Sleep tracking, stress monitoring and breathing exercises. Ever since the introduction, I got a pretty hard time to tell it apart from the Huawei Watch GT2, except for a few aesthetics. For example, the red ring around the top button over here, and the other one are the straps. Another difference between the two is that the Magic Watch is made from stainless steel and plastic, whereas the more expensive Huawei Watch is made from stainless steel throughout with a ceramic bezel. Now that also counts for big parts of the software. For example, most of the watch faces found on the Magic Watch 2 are identical to the Huawei watch and in order to use the watch, you need to install Huawei Health. Not everything is identical though, because the Honor Magic Watch 2 has some few distinctive features. You can set your own photo as a watch face, but with the latest software update for the Huawei Watch GT2, you can do so as well. Now, if you're into running, there's a bunch of programs already on the watch and you can set your pace accordingly. And on top of that, there's a new feature for your recovery time, which is called VO2 Max, which will tell you when you need to rest and recover before you can carry on exercising. Just like the Watch GT2 from Huawei, Honor uses the same LightOS, which is a closed platform, so you can't install any kind of third-party applications like Spotify. And in terms of hardware, the watch is pretty identical, 4 gigs, no NFC, no LTE, nor Wi-Fi. Now, don't get me wrong here, because even though it has many similarities, there are some benefits for the Honor Watch. And one of them is, for example, the price, because even though they're nearly identical, this one is priced slightly lower. Oh, and the Honor Magic Watch 2 has a battery life of 14 days. Honor states that it should last 14 days, and that is just about right. Depending on your own type of usage, of course, you might get a little bit less or more out of it. But a half an hour activity a day with GPS on and the smart heart rate monitoring turned on, you will get around 12 days. And that is a whole lot more than any kind of Wear OS watch that I've tested. For example, the Fossil Generation 5 watch linked here in the top right corner. The only thing that's kind of annoying is that you have to place the watch always correctly onto the charger. I have to mention though that this watch is a great companion for all kind of sporters, including swimmers, because it works on the need to water the heart rate monitoring, and that is I think a very big plus. 
What isn't a big plus are the notifications for regular use because it just doesn't work the way it should. Just like its bigger brother, you can't reply or set quick replies to notifications and emojis are not supported. And on top of that, I really miss NFC to be honest for mobile payments. But luckily there are many good things as well. Like the detailed stats after I work out and the sleep tracker that's incredibly accurate. The battery life is amazing and the added features like the pace setter are a very warm welcome and the accuracy of the GPS is also more than good, just like the price because it's roughly 30 or 40 euros lower than the Huawei Watch GT2 and if you're interested I will leave a link to the lowest price in the video description down below so make sure you check it out after watching this video. So overall, even though it is a rebranded smartwatch, the Honor Magic Watch 2 is a superb companion for all kind of sporters that want to have some sort of a smartwatch look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did so, please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have some comments, questions or remarks, drop them down below. I would love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see all of you in the next one.